Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Last time we began exploring the Druid Grove, and after this kid and his brother tried to steal from us, I got inspired to do the same. But I got a little bit carried away, so I ended up pickpocketing everything that he had with Asterion, along with the other merchant that was in the grove, who just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But let's see what he has to say now. Uh, hey, you here to trade or? Your partner's a thief. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. You could at least pretend to be sorry. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around here. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Okay. Yes, yes, I see. And is that with two hours or one? Hello. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask for questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Common variety goblins, led by a lasher and flanked by... Booyogs. Hi, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. I'm not unfamiliar with their kind, certainly. Shocking little creatures, aren't they? Still, there's quite a bit more to them than most accounts allow. I myself plan to record the world's most extensive catalogue of their means and habits. A blue ocean of information, I dare say. Now, I have a few more questions, if... You don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? There's dragon blood in my veins. I'd know if one of my forebears had been there. Witness believes himself to be dragon. Possibly deluded. <laughs> Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the absolute. The scandal! Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Be careful, goblins aren't known for mercy. Ooh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? Huh? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. Alright, good luck, buddy. Now, let's see what's here. Inside. Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy enough as is. Okay. Yes. Yes, I see. Oh wait, fishing rod. Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, I do wish I could understand you. Oh. Moon, sun, oh, remind me. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile when pain will fade away. 
thoughts of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. What's that tune you're singing? More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. Are you alright? No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song. I can't. Nothing fits, you know? Let me see if I can help. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. First things first. What's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble. Like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Keep going. What would you say to your teacher if she were here right now? That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you. For everything. Alright, that's what your lyrics need to say. Moon. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Wait. Sorry. Don't worry. Cry as much as you need. <laughs> She'd have said the same thing. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. 
sounds terrible. I'm sorry. It was awful. I couldn't look at a Luke without hearing her screaming. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. You're welcome, and that was an awesome song. I love her outfit too. Alright, let's see what this is. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Alright, Asterion, you're up. Oh, You got this. You sure do. Never a dull moment. Oh, a hat. Well, speaking of which, the hats really bothered me when it was in the cutscene, so let's change it up a little bit. Yeah. What does it do? Tap up curing. Soothing songs or bardic inspiration. I don't have a bard, so I guess you can just wear it for the looks. Alright, what's over here? Well, let's go see. Anything up here? Oh. Why are we saving? Are we about to fight? Still close to the grove, so we should be safe, right? I don't see anything. Investigate the beach. How do I get down there, though? Do I jump? Well, let's try it. Up here. Ooh. Okay, I'll take it. Anything else here? No, that's as far as you go. That's quite an angle. Can I go down? Is that a hole? Let's see. Maybe not. Um, let's see. There it is, investigate the beach. Who are you? Very well. Shh. Listen. Oh, listen. A sweet melody plays above the waves, beckoning you, drowning out all logical thought. Oh, is it a siren? Um, struggle. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. Get back, it's a trick! No, no, it's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. 
Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Oh, guess we're fighting now. Hey, Zell, why are you over there? Oh no. Harpy. They look quite tough. They're moving away. Sure. Don't kill the kid. Alright, I gotta stop the harpy from singing. Stereo. Is everyone else lyric? Okay, and where's Shadowheart? Oh. Shadowheart should join the party. You're on the group. Do you need help jumping? Maybe I can do something preemptively with Shadow Heart then. I should use aid more. Has 31 HP. Maybe a guiding bolt. That's too far away. This way. I'll make sure they don't see me. Oh, they saw me. Okay, it's fine, Asteria. Can I sneak attack? If I go up here... No... Range attack? Disadvantage... What is my range over here? So I need to get closer? How about... Let's try to get closer. Outside of range still, huh? What about firebolts? 50%? And this is 56. Maybe this is fine for now? Yeah. Or maybe it's not. Let's switch over to sword. Dang, I thought I resisted that. Uh, who needs help? Lazel is right up there. I'm right up there. The kid is fine, I guess. Can I bless our team? Level two. What's my range? Not enough. Range attack. I guess I can be up here. No. That works, but you don't do too much damage, right? 4 to 11. That's not bad. Let's see, Guiding Bolts? Kinda wanna save it for this one. What else can I do? 
they're not undead. Maybe I'll just Guiding Bolt. Yeah, I can't be too stingy with my spells. That was a good one. And maybe a healing word for Lazel. Alright. Well, there goes my throat. Okay, I gotta stop this singing. I can make you prone. Yeah, let's try that. Can I do melee? 65. That's not very good. Hundred percent. I like hundred percent. But oh, this is just to activate. Okay, it gains to my attack roll. A bone is nice. Ideally, if it hits. Let's try it. Perfect. Now, can I still hit you? I can action surge. Or second win. I might be able to use the HP, but who's up next? You are. Apparently I can take a hit. That's action surge. And then, this is to my attack roll. If you're prone, I probably don't need it. Trip isn't worth it right now. Maybe just a regular attack. You are prone, aren't you? Oh, you're not. In that case, what if I try to make you crawl? I have three left. Let's try it again. Or I could just kill you. That works for me. And let's get out of here. Nice try. Is it running away? Oh, it's singing! I gotta stop that. It only affects the person whose turn it is? Okay. Who's next? You? I could help out. Yeah, I think helping might be the best idea. Using a potion here really doesn't do anything since I'm already down and away from my team. You'd be dead without yeah, let's help him out. And then I can flourish. Maybe not. I can dash. Oh, I certainly can't hide. I dip into water? No? That's not an element? Might as well dash. No reason not to. And get ready to hit that one. Nice, resisted. 
Now, can I blow this one up? Guiding bolts. 65 isn't that great. Can I do better? I don't think so. I might just have to take the 65. Yeah, let's give it a shot. What? What happened? Can I go any higher? Oh, can I shove it? Worth a shot. Maybe not. I'll hold this. Time to push my luck again. Time to push my luck again. It's got an opportunity attack on me. That's not good. I can't use spell slots. Movement is half. And I'm wet. Why can't I use my spell slots? Can I disengage? Or is it because I don't have an action? Yeah, that's it. I have a bonus action or a sorcery points. I can heal, right? Yeah, that's a bonus action. Let's do that. Not worth trying to get away and taking a hit. There you go, kid. Okay, how do I... Kill you. I used my action surge already. Maybe precision? Who's next? You. And then Asterion, and then the one on top. It seems like only one of them sings at a time, so. As long as this one's singing, I should be fine. I'll try to hit it first. Good. And then maybe on this side. There, a second wind. Okay. Are you gonna sing? Why not? Now, I should be able to kill that pretty easily, right? You're fine. I could sneak attack, but is it necessary? 65%? I think I'm hidden. 88%. Much better. This is 75. Let's do 88. Good. Oh no. Alright. Where can you help? These two can take care of that, and you can help Battleheart. Perhaps. Or you're just gonna block the way, but apparently I'll be fine. Okay, I saved. Nice. Let's see. Uh, 
Can I just whack it? No. Range. I don't take an opportunity attack, it seems. Let's go behind. 45, 65. I don't think I need to use a spell. Yeah, let's buy it. Stay out of my head. They are terrible at concentrating. Um, do I need healing? Sure. Take two. All right, let's get blasting, maybe. Low ground, 55. 65. Not accurate. Let's do a couple into you, and then one over here. And let's get out of here. Someone else can loot that. Rit. Yeah, keep running, kid. Feel scared. Let's see. These get back on a short rest, which I will probably do anyway, so might as well use them, right? How accurate? Not very. So let's precisely hit it. Oh, I can use both. What's the damage? 6 to 19? This should be fine. 85%. Either way. Nice. We made it. All right, kid. What do you have to say for yourself? Are they gone? They're gone. Are you all right? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Take a breath. Deep and slow. You're safe now. Th that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mom will be so mad. <sighs> Wait. Um. You should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. The dragon's lair. All right. Let's find a Donny after we short rest. Welcome rest. That was a scary fight. Did I loot you already? Let's double check. Yes. Is there anything up here? Halophones. Well, it's got a bottle. Looks like that's it. Let's go back. Ooh. What about over here? Nothing? Never mind. Yeah, we still need to loot this one. Or not. Well, I guess we just saved a kid. That's worth something, right? Maybe we'll finish exploring this area first. I think I can wait. Rib cage. Ooh. How do we get up? Fancy. I don't know why I'm taking the bones, but I have them now. And a couple rib cages. A 
Okay, how do I get the cage? Alright, now we can make our own skeleton. I don't think we can go down that way. Are we done exploring? Seems like it. Let's go back towards the west. Oh yeah, so that's where we came from, right? We already went down. Okay. Ooh, loot. Keep their confidence if you insist. Your master let us in here. We're your guests. They don't care. Come on, antidote. Farmer on mythical beasts. Miniature giant space hamster. Okay. Ooh, something down here. You have a bear. Really, can I speak with animals? I'll just say. Hood. I only have one. Maybe I'll use it later. Who knows? I have something to ask. Can you talk to humans? No. I can't get over there, can I? I can. Barely. Worth the trip. What about over here? No, that's as far as I can go. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I just misclicked you. That's as far as I can go. We came from there. Dagger roots. Where are you? Right there. in the way. I don't want a rotten tomato. Okay, back where we started. 
Uh, where do we need to go? Maybe over here. Why did you leave? No. Nothing important. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her. She stole the other. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a a what, Rath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. The poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Okay. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, deal it to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Okay. What's up, Shadowheart? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. Alright. And we'll move on. Let's see what's up here. Nothing. Maybe it'll we'll just go down the normal way. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. And if I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Paga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's the real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. If no one's looking for Halsin, I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. No need to fret, I'll find him. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Ooh, the first druid. Oh no. I hate wolves. Well, good luck with that. Frightened of wolves, Shadow Heart. Everyone's frightened of something. My fears hardly rash. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. 
They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. I'll try to avoid wolves in the future where possible. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be understanding. Okay. Get her away from the wolves. Olga? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then it seems I'd best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Okay. Where else are we going? Do we talk to you guys? What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Oh. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. But these two are racist. What's in here? Oh, I thought that was a toothbrush. Mervin's quarters. Doesn't seem like there's anything I can take. Phone door. Well, I can close it. Hello. I see you. Just give me a moment. Well, this is nutty. Is there anything I can do to help? A moment. This may be Catrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? Well, I know you're here. Healing. Looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No way of putting this. I, uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? You know of them? Can you help me? I, uh... I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Yeah, you can be quick. I'll loot a bit first. I wonder what we can do with those portraits. Alright, let's go. Ooh, wait, wait. No. There's something in that vessel. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. The draw and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start.
It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's with the plan? Will it help? It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flare ship. I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Alright, I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So you think it's only a matter of time? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So, go and get him. I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, All right. Come on. Now we find the adventurers. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Ooh, this could be handy. Better than becoming a mind player. Keep it in case things start to go very wrong. All right, what else is here? That's curious. What did I perceive? Who knows? Is it this thing? Oh, 
Well, either way, I can't touch anything without her getting mad. I'll take that, though. Oh, by Savannah, I just want my bed. What does that do? Okay, recipe for antidotes. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Yeah, yeah. Yet she failed. That's what matters. Alright, let's find our adventurers. Now, where are you? Arabella's parents. Domi. Okay, there's quite a few quests around. Let's start with the closest one. This way. One of you? You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. No more light-fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean... Thank you. For helping me. Amira's Lockets. Dancing Light Skin Crypt. Okay. Let's give that to... Shadowheart? Why not? And then for the toxin, let's give it to you. That's a lot of money. I'll take that. Next up... Donnie. Hmm. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Donnie, isn't it? I want to see the dragon's lair. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. <laughs> I guess that's all he says. Hello? His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Oh, maybe he's mute. Okay, we're... There it is. Heathling hideout. I'm not sure what's down here, but let's call it a day for now. And thanks for watching. See you next time.